There are two things to do to make this almost classic chicken pot pie great. Perfect for the holidays or all year round. Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make chicken pot pie. And I started to say classic because it's going to be almost classic. The reason it's only almost classic is that almost everybody uses chicken breast and I'm not going to. I'm going to use chicken thighs, which is one of the things I think is going to make this better. And the second thing is we're going to do this. We're going to make this moist but not runny. I'm using chicken thighs with the skin on. We're going to make our own chicken broth, put them with some Carrots, onions, and celery, mirepoix. In the actual dish, I'm gonna use a cup of celery, a cup of carrots, and a cup of onions, all of them chopped, sliced on the vegetables here, and a cup of peas. These are frozen peas that I have thawed out. We're gonna use a half cup of uh, all-purpose flour, almost all of this, three quarters of a cup of cream, a full stick of butter, some puff pastry, and we've got some food coloring. We'll see what that's for. That may or may not work. And I've got this here. So I got an egg wash to put on the crust because I want to get shiny and brown and pretty and everything else. We're going to put uh, some onions. I even left the skin on. You know, there's no problem with that. These are just for making flavor in the broth. Chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. And we're going to boil these for about 30 minutes. So we've been boiling this chicken for a little more than a half hour. You could cook this for literally an hour. It'd be just fine. I did add a little chicken base to the uh, broth just because it could use a little more flavor, I think. If you boil this for a full hour, you wouldn't need to do that. All right, so now I'm going to drain off most of this liquid. We need a, a t oh man, that, there's a mess. We need a cup and a half of chicken broth. We got our cup and a half, and now we're going to put the vegetables in here, and we're going to cook them while we're making the roux. So I've let the vegetables cook down uh, for about 10 minutes while the chicken cooled off, and we're going to take these off, set them aside, and I'm going to go ahead and take the skin off and cut the chicken up in bite-sized pieces, and then we're going to start the sauce. All right, so now we're going to take the skin off, and any extra fat that's on them. And I'm just gonna pull this meat off the bone. And this is the only part that makes this not a classic pot pie with chicken breast. I just, I, it's, I think it's hard to cook chicken breasts and, and get them so they're not tough. You gotta be a better cook than I am. Not to say it can't be done, I'm sure it's done all the time. I can't wait to tell you about this product. We have been going back and forth on what lights to put where, and then we finally have decided on most everything except the lights that are underneath our cabinets. Just don't like them, they look like fluorescent lights. Uh, so Ahsoka sent me a couple of these, and these are fantastic for a couple of reasons. First of all, you can put them on like this, and then right next to this sensor here is a button, and you can change the light and there's about five different combinations. And the one I picked for under the counter is this one, but that's not all because actually you can stick your finger right on there and it'll dim down and you put it back on there and it'll come right back up. You put these metal strips on the light itself and then you tear off the, the covering of the sticky stuff out with the tape and then you put them exactly where you want press it on, hold it for a couple of seconds, and then the light stays there. But when you want to charge the light, you just simply pull it off. And if you look at the one I've got here, I'll show you exactly how this works. Right now, I've got this exactly where I want it, and it's stuck up there, but right there it is. I can take it off, turn it off, and I can charge this with the USB port, and it comes with the cord to do that. And when I want to put it back on, 
I put the light back on and just put it right back where it was. And there it is. So simple to do. You can change anything. You can pull it down and change it or you can put it back up there. And there's one more thing on there. I can't really show you that because it's not dark in here. And that's this. This has a sensor on it. So if you go to the auto mode, actually what'll happen is if it's dark in the auto mode, it'll come on and act as a nightlight. Super cool. Thanks to Soko. So if you go to the description below, or if Seth puts it in the actual video, there's a code. And if you enter that code, you get, are you ready for this? 50% off. I hope you'll try it. All right. So now we're going to make the roux and the sauce and put everything together and make our pie. Our vegetables are perfect. I cooked them for about 10 minutes. I think that's good because you want to get it. You want, you don't want to lose all the texture. So you want to cook them a little bit, but not too much. And 10 minutes is about right. We've got more than a cup of half of broth. And look at this. This is actually good broth. This is natural chicken broth. And I'm just going to keep doing this, keep the lumps out of it. And again, the goal here is on this is to not have this be liquidly, liquidy. We want it to be moist, but not runny. Pot pies date back to the Roman Empire. In fact, in 500 BC, Greeks made meat pies called aratocrius. They became popular in England in the 16th century with venison, pork, lamb, and other game. During the Elizabethan era, Queen Elizabeth I, who was from the middle 1500s to about 1600, chefs would actually compete with each other with the decorations they put on the top of these pot pies. In 1776, pot pies were included in the cookbook American Cookery. In the 1950s, pot pies became very popular in the United States and were in frozen food sections of most grocery stores. Today, they're as popular as ever. This is perfect. There's absolutely no lumps in this. All right, so we're gonna put, this is more than a cup and a half, so we're not gonna use all of this. Oh, that's good. Look at that. That is nice. Look at that. It's coming together right there. That is tight. I'm going to use all of it because this is pretty thick. Turn this off. I'm going to get this any thicker than that. That's a little too tight because it'll tighten up in the oven some more. This is really about what we're looking for. This is nice and thick, and it'll tighten up a little bit more in the oven. We're going to add our three quarters of a cup of cream. And that's gonna thin it down a little bit more. And now I'm gonna add the porcini mushroom. So here's a tablespoon of uh, porcini powder. All right, we're going to let this thicken a little bit, and then we're going to add the chicken. Just a little salt. The mushrooms, I'm going to add just a little more. I don't want to wreck it, but that's a good taste. I'm going to use about another half teaspoon and a little salt. Put all the vegetables in, peas, look at those. Do use frozen peas. I, frozen peas are the best. Don't cook those with everything else. Just put those in at the end. Do thaw them out. Oh, this stuff's going to be right. I'm telling you right now. Now the fun part. So these have been sitting out according to the directions about an hour. I had them in the fridge for an hour out of the freezer, just a little bit. They're gonna come apart nicely here. All right, they got a little nice piece of paper there. I did buy an actual pie crust, but it's got the edges on it already, and I don't wanna do that. Where's my rolling pin? 
So I'm gonna roll this out. Oh, that rolls out pretty nicely though. You could make your own dough. I'm not. <laughs> no way. I remember when I made my beef wellington, remember that? I had such a big piece of beef wellington that it really, I couldn't make the dough fit it that well. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, this is not horrible. All right, let me get this on here. Use a little more this way. understand I don't bake and this is baking oh that does nicely I think that's good I'll roll this out Let's see if I can't do that meanwhile the oven is on 425 we're going to bake this for about 30 to 35 minutes Oh, look at this. Look at these ingredients. And I tell you what, I think the mushroom powder absolutely made a difference. And I think we're going to get most of this in here. I'm hoping this tightens up even more. I've got this egg wash, which is just one egg and a little bit of water. Okay, here we go. Ah, all right. I'm just gonna pinch this tight. I'm not doing anything fancy. The bowl itself, the pie plate is fancy enough. But we are gonna add some decorations. All right, I'm just making sure that those seams are firm. It seems pretty firm. It seems that way. All right, so I'm gonna try this. Uh, I just wanna make a couple of leaves that look somewhat like holly, but may or may not. So this is tight. So far we look like India, the country, versus I don't know what. We're gonna do this. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna happen. This may look like... <laughs> Everybody who's watching this that knows how to bake is... Is laughing. They're, they're going... Yeah. Fit right uh, and I don't care. I don't care. I never said I could bake. This is a... This looks a... A sick holly leaf. It's all right. And how do we make green? We, we use, I don't know, two colors. Blue and uh, yellow. Yellow and blue make green. That's right. See, I, I, I passed. What, what grade is that? Mm, it's probably third or fourth. All right, this has even got a stem. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. that one looks spectacular. This has even got a stem. Impressive. All right. Impressive. All right. Now, let's get a couple berries. That'll be plenty. We would not have won the uh, pot pie decorating contest. All right, there's two berries. That's plenty. That's plenty. You really need three. You need three? Three. Ah, okay. Well, it's got, you know. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Is it sticking? No, the, the berry stuck to it. I think that's where it is. I think that's where it stays. Oh, it's absolutely where it stays. I think it needs to go there, right? You can put it anywhere you want. How's that? I think it's great. No bueno. 
35 minutes, but we're gonna, we're gonna cook it for about five or 10 minutes and cut some holes. All right, it's been 30 minutes. I've checked it a few times. We did the cut uh, after the dough tightened up a little bit, heated up, and then we, we were able to make the cuts just right so it didn't blow up and blow over and everything else. So let's try it, let's have a look at it. Ooh, look at that. Is that right or not? Ah, there's a festive holiday there's pot a Christmas pie. Christmas miracle. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. So now we're gonna let it rest for ten minutes, and we're gonna cut it open and make a pie cut and see how it looks. We've let it rest for ten minutes, and I'm gonna cut into it, and we're going to see whether it came out the way we wanted it to. So where do you want to make the cut? Oh, no, no, you're in charge of this. Okay, I think we cut right through. Let's do this. Let's cut right here. Ooh, that's juicy. Listen to that crust. It sounds good. I'd like it to be a little tighter than that, but I think this is going to be tasty. Mmm. That is right. I'm happy with it. I'd like it to be a little tighter, but I shouldn't have added as much water as I did. Because I forgot about adding the cream. I shouldn't have added as much water. But this is tasty. Come have a taste, Mr. Brooks. Mm. How's that? Mm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. That is comfort food. That's absolutely comfort food. Mm -hmm. If you have done a dish that I have put on a video and you send me a picture, I will put it on. Chances are I might put it on. Yeah, you probably will. I probably will. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. I'm Lawyer in the Kitchen.